calculate the following antiderivatives. In order to do this, I'm gonna use the power rule, which says that the antiderivative of x to the k dx is just x to the k plus one over k plus one plus a constant, where k could be any real number except negative one. Okay, let's go ahead with a. For a, I need to integrate or take the antiderivative of x to the fifth power. So for k equal five, using my power rule, this will be simply equal to x raised to five plus one over five plus one plus a constant, right? And this is just x to the six over six plus a constant, done with a. Let's go ahead with b. For b, for b, let's do it here. Integral of x raised to six over nine, dx. For b, let's first simplify six over nine by dividing by three numerator and denominator. So we are dealing with integral of two thirds dx, right? And again, applying our power rule now for k two thirds, two thirds, we will have x raised to two thirds plus one over two thirds plus a constant. But remember, when you add two thirds plus one is the same as adding two thirds plus one over one, LCD three. So this becomes five thirds, right? So, and don't forget that on the denominator also you have to add one, right? So five thirds on the numerator, five thirds on the denominator. So we'll have X, raised to five thirds, five thirds, over five thirds plus a constant. Now remember, divided by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this will end up being three fifths of x raised to five thirds plus a constant. So done with b. Let's do now c. For c, I have to integrate x raised to negative six times the square root of x dx. Allow me to rewrite the square root of x as x raised to one half. And you may say, Professor, why are you doing that? Well, it's just that I need to get this integral as the integral of the power of x, right? So power of x, so I can apply the power rule. So minus six plus one half. Using the technique that I show here to add fractions, the sum of negative six plus one half is just negative 12 plus one, negative 11 over two. And now integrating this x raised to negative 11 over two, we're gonna get x raised to minus 11 over two plus one over minus 11 over two plus one. And don't forget the constant. Now, negative 11 over two plus one is negative nine over two. And this must be divided by negative nine over two as well, plus a constant and don't forget Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this finally will end up being negative two nine x raised to negative nine over two plus a constant. I hope this video helped you. More videos coming up. Please subscribe. Thank you.